Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for checking out a new video. We once again have another lithium iron phosphate battery for review today. This one was sent out by a company called Temgot. Uh, this is their smart battery. It's got a neat little feature up top here. As you can see, it's got a built-in LCD display. This battery also has a shunt built in showing you the current in and out, voltage, temperature, and hours remaining. Now it also has your discharge and charge selectors. It shows you how many cycles the battery has been through, and it's got your cell voltages over here on the last page. So pretty cool battery. I think I'm gonna stick to reviewing uh, batteries similar to this one and the TZ Power, something a little bit unique, you know, not just your standard lithium iron phosphate plain Jane batteries. So this is a standard group 31 deep cycle size. I'm gonna put it through uh, the usual test here. We'll charge it up. I'll show you the shunt in action and then we will discharge it. Make sure we get our full 100 amp hours of rated capacity, but we'll start off by throwing the charger on it here and just show you the screen in action. So we are putting 20 amps into the battery. It shows nine minutes remaining until full charge, which should be about accurate. So we'll let that get charged up and we will start the discharge. Okay, we're all set up with the same test as last time. We have the Renogy 1000 watt fused to the Temgot battery sitting at 100% charge. So we'll get it fired up. I've got the shunt set to 110 amp hours again, just so we can keep an eye if we do go beyond 100 amp hours of capacity. So we're gonna be running the same load. I have the plug here for all the lights around the garage, the fan, and I also have these four cell phones here that are actually mining crypto. So I'm not a crypto guy by any means, but I was looking for something to do with extra solar power that I was making. So. I've kind of dipped my toes in it. I've made about a dollar so far. Would not recommend you go out and buy any amount of equipment to do this, but I had these phones, so it's running. We're gonna get the inverter fired up and start the test. Okay, lights are on. Oh, I have this computer running on it too. So the phones are charging. We will get that fan turned on. All right, fan is on. We are discharging. The shunt shows we're pulling 31 amps and estimates around three hours and 10 minutes remaining. So we will keep an eye on this throughout the test. I'll probably once again throw a couple extra loads on here just to torture test it a little bit, maybe the heat gun again, and we'll see how it does. Okay, I stepped it up a little bit. I've got all of my tool batteries charging. The fan is on high. Everything else still running as it was, but we are pulling 77 amps from the battery, estimating one hour to go. And we're still sitting at 95 amp hours on the shunt. Battery temp is 21 degrees Celsius, so doing good so far. All right guys, Temgot battery is still doing good. We are still pulling 62 amps, almost 63, down to 34%, and the battery is sitting at 27 degrees Celsius internal. So I thought we'd take a quick peek with the thermal camera. This is the Pocket E from Hike Micro. I just did a video on this one, but if you haven't seen it, that's what it is. So our cables are sitting around 97 degrees. Battery's doing good. A little bit of heat there in the center. Looks like around 81 degrees. Nothing real hot up here. Terminal's a little warm, 91. And a little bit of a hot spot there on the display at 92 degrees. So, uh, looks like it's got about a half hour left in it. So, we'll check back in shortly. All right guys, we're getting pretty close. We have two amp hours remaining, 1.9 now of the original 100. We have a recharge battery warning. We're down to 11.3 volts, still pulling 53 amps, and the battery has reached 30 degrees Celsius internal temperature. So just a couple minutes left. I'm gonna keep a close eye on it and I'll let you know when it shuts off. Okay guys, lights are out. We pulled just shy of 100 amp hours. Um, that's kind of hard to focus there. We have 10.25 remaining. 
I would call that full capacity, but it didn't go any further than that. I'll let the voltage come back here and we'll put just a light load on it and see if we can get a little bit more out of this thing. And uh, we'll check back in. Okay, well it did turn back on. We are still fairly low on the voltage, but it is working. I've just got a lighter load on it. So we did just now pull the full 100 amp hours of capacity. We'll see how much further we can get, but it's looking like it's gonna shut off here in about a, a minute. Okay guys, it just shut itself down. We did pull 101 amp hours, so got its rated capacity. We're sitting at 10.5 volts, 31 degrees internal, and a very low 0%. So overall, pretty good for the Temgot battery. If you like this battery, uh, make sure to check it out. I'll post a link below. I kind of like this. It's got a nice uh, matte finish. I like the color. Pretty cool little battery. I, uh, I think I honestly prefer the LCD screen over the app. It's easier to just walk up, touch the button, wake it up, rather than get your phone out, wake the battery up, pair the app, that whole thing. So overall, pretty nice battery. Like I said, I'll post the link. You can check them out. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.